Hi everyone, this is Jason from Realm Space Gaming, and today we're looking at the best way to play the role of Castle Guard in Warlander. We've organized these into five tips to focus on to make your life easier. Number one, keep an eye on the catapult. It is the job of the Special Forces Squad to take and hold the catapult. The catapult is an absolutely devastating weapon that can control the battlefield, racking up kills and suppressing enemy defenders, while also destroying your gates, your defending weapons and even the towers and walls that form your keep. If your team's special forces squad hasn't been able to secure the catapult, it is quite likely that the enemy special forces team have taken it and is currently pointing it at your keep. If they know what they're doing, they'll aim for your front right cannon first, the one on the outer keep wall just above the gate. This is an important cannon, as it is itself able to destroy the catapult with ease. You should focus on building and reinforcing this cannon as a top priority, keeping it aimed at the catapult. To ensure a hit, aim to the maximum height you can aim at while keeping the crosshair of the cannon vertically aligned with the catapult. If you do not do this quickly and the enemy team acquire the catapult, their first move will likely be to destroy your cannon. Worse yet, they will continue firing, removing your opportunity to rebuild it first temporarily as they keep the fire coming and then permanently as they destroy the foundation it was placed upon. If this happens, you no longer have any defense against the catapult and the enemy will use it to happily siege your base, rendering the rest of your defensive efforts worthless. Because control of the catapult is such an important affair, you should consider helping your special forces squad where you can to ensure that it remains contested and the enemy is not given the opportunity to siege your base. This is by far your number one most important job, keeping the catapult ineffective. Number two. Watch the enemy movements on the map. Castle Guard is not always the most sought after role, as some would say it's far from the action, but this is often untrue. An early stealth attack on your core could mean the difference between victory or defeat, and this is a strategy we've employed a number of times to great success. If your squad is on guard duty, pay close attention to those little dots representing the enemy color, and don't let them build ladders to get in. Number 3. Build defenses alone. Earning Valor Points is still important in a match, as your role of defending your core will be a lot easier if you can use your more powerful characters. Being away from the front lines means that you're less likely to get Valor Points, so you'll need every boost you can get. When your defenders start building defenses, it may seem smart to help them hammer away at the same one and get it set up quickly, but this actually deprives you from the plus 10 bonus you get from constantly hammering away. You still get the 50 point bonus for finishing a build and a 100 point bonus for upgrading it, but the slower you build a weapon, the more points you'll get from it, letting you get your high level characters quicker. Number 4. Do not let them damage your core. This point may seem obvious, given that damage to your core can result in a loss if the timer runs out, but in addition to this, each squad is given objectives based on their role. If you're a defender, your only objectives are to prevent your core from taking damage for given amounts of time. If it seems like someone may breach your keep walls but the threat is small, drop whatever you can to take them down and prevent that damage. You succeeding your objectives will allow you to gain valor quicker, allowing you to deploy more powerful characters. Finally, number 5. Use your advantage. If enemies can't siege your keep directly, they're going to try to climb your walls with ladders on the front and sides. Oftentimes, they may have sniper majors using ice spears to take opportunistic shots at you. Spells, bows and the catapults all pose a danger as well, even if you're safely out of melee range. Remember that if you die, likely nobody else will arrive in time to destroy the ladder and prevent someone from getting into your keep and damaging your core. I like to play Cleric when the game reaches this stage, as the AoE healing allows me to sustain myself atop the wall for much longer, letting me take the occasional hit without it tallying up to my certain demise. In addition to this, don't focus entirely on defending with the siege weapons. Some of the crossbows are very good and they absolutely shine at defense. Hopefully, you now know the best way to play the role of Castle Guard in Warlander. As usual, our goal is to give you the best information quickly and let you jump straight back into gaming. So if you like that, then hit the like button and subscribe for more Warlanders. My name is Jason, and here's a big thank you from everyone at Realm Space Gaming for watching, and don't forget to enjoy the rest of your day.